because I've been doing different kinds of freezer meals to prep for baby. I have a few things on my list today that I want to get done. So I wanted to do that with you guys as well. Okay, so the kids decided they wanted to go outside and play and they wanted to take their little brother out with them. So I bundled him up nicely, nice and snug. <laughs> While they're out there doing that, I am gonna start cooking. So it's not 100% clean in here, but I have a clean stove and an empty sink and that's all that matters to me at this point because lunch was a huge thing with those guys. Nobody could agree on something and I think then they said that I made lunch too peppery. So none of them ended up eating it anyways and then they all wanted different things for lunch. It was just a whole situation. As is always when you have a bunch of kids, right? I'm gonna get to this table in a little bit too. It's like I could continue on finding messes to clean up, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to get things started. I'm gonna try to work through this. My lower back is killing me. Um, I need to see a chiropractor because for back pains and also to get this baby to spin around. I've been doing spinning babies for a couple weeks now and I see my midwife on Friday. So hopefully that has done something for me. But, um, oh, they're trying to pave a way for him. That's cute. All right. They're trying to make their way to the swing set. All right. So I am going to get started. We have Muscovy ducks and, um, their meat is red, like beef. It actually tastes like beef. It has a texture of like a turkey breast, but its flavor reminds me that like that of like a steak. So that's why it makes a wonderful stir fry. It's just delicious and absorbs. It's so tender, like absorbs all the flavors so nicely. So it's easy to over season it. So be careful when you're seasoning it. I go a little heavy handed with the seasonings and um, you can make it um, too salty. Sorry, I'm just gonna peek out on the kids. Mm. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do the rice, one cup of rice, two cups of water. We're going to double this since we're doing a stir fry too. So we're going to do two cups of rice and four cups of water. You know what the last cup we're going to do is going to be of the broth. I am like coddling this because I don't know when I'm, I'm actually going to probably make another whole chicken this week, but I never know day to day how I'm going to feel. So I've been like coddling this because, um, I drink a lot of chicken broth because a lot of bone broth because of my, um, GERD. I have really bad acid reflux. So I, I do use this for baking, but I am like babying it. <laughs> myself to consume versus using it for meals so um i'm gonna do one cup of that okay. and this i've learned is how you want your broth to be nice and jiggly like jello having tons of nice friends to teach you things, fellow homesteaders on social media. It's been so much fun meeting new people. So I'm doing this more for the flavor and the health benefits, adding the bone broth in there. So I'm gonna set this on the stove. We need two cups of rice. So I have two cups of rice. Get that a little bit of stir just to mix everything together okay so i'm gonna let this sit and then once it starts to simmer i'll put the lid on that meanwhile um i'm gonna probably get started on rinsing the chicken okay so we just ran out of um 
chicken breast a couple weeks ago. So I'm using this last pack of organic chicken breast. We just processed 10 chickens over the weekend. We did have a lot more and that's a long story, but we just processed 10 chickens and one turkey, my husband did, um, over the weekend. So we are using up, well, I'm using up whatever's left of the meat that we had to buy from the store to help us get, get through until we had, we had more meat. Um, normally the meat will last us all the way until almost we're ready to process more. So like usually until the like late spring, our meat lasts us for this summer. It did not happen. We, um, with the move and everything, um, and delays in shipping and just all kinds of issues, you name it. Um, like the birds, it'd be a big, huge span of like, okay, the birds could be here, like here ten, one day or 10 days from then. So it was hard to plan and it was difficult moving with meat birds. It was difficult. It was just having to change our address. It was just a lot of work. So we had to buy organic chicken breast from our local grocery store. You just really want to do your research just to make sure that the meat that you are getting is decent quality. Obviously, meat straight from your backyard's best, but so there are times like this where we had no choice, the same as eggs. Our chickens are on strike <laughs> because it's winter and they're not laying. They deserve the rest. So I'm gonna let them have it but um we've had to buy eggs from the um grocery store okay so i have the meat right here i'm gonna cut it into halves that looks like it's ready for me to put a lid on it so i'm just gonna cut these into halves nothing better than cooking in a clean kitchen i don't know what it is but it Anybody used to get grossed out by cutting up, touching raw meat when they were first starting out cooking? It's crazy because I used to butcher chicken. I butcher chicken stuff. So I'm gonna marinate this right now while I saute this chicken. It's not going to marinate for a long time, but, and I'm not going to put too much because I want the flour to stick to it. I'm making smothered chicken tonight for dinner. So this is just regular uh, Italian vinaigrette marinade. All right, so I have chosen ground pepper, saison, Season salt and garlic powder to season mine with, but you can use whatever you want. Again, this is for the smothered chicken. I'm just gonna let it sit in these seasonings while I make this looks like it's gonna be done soon. While I make the um The chicken for my chicken broccoli casserole. You guys can get a better view. There's that. I'm gonna take this again. I tried <laughs> not dirtying up dishes best I can. You can take a meat tenderizer and um, flatten these out a little bit more. Chosen not to. It's extra time that I don't have. Just gonna stir the rice. It's over here. Okay. Add some olive oil. Now I'm gonna start making the chicken for the chicken and broccoli. Heat up a little bit. I got my chicken breast here on the top. This is a container that my cousin sent me home with after she made us dinner one time. And um, I'm using it to marinate my chicken. 
<laughs> and the lid I am using to hold my chicken. So you just wait for the oil to start bubbling. And I'm gonna go ahead, rinse this off first. For now, I'm gonna turn it down because I don't want it to cook too fast. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the same seasonings that I use to marinate my chicken for this. Lots of garlic powder. You guys are probably thinking that it's overkill. On this side, I'm just going to put pepper, flip it over, do garlics, garlic powder. There's no such thing as over seasoning with garlic powder. That's my opinion. So I'm just going to go ahead, saute this. And then once it's all cooked, I'm going to go ahead and set it aside so it can cool down. I don't want to overcook it. I don't want to undercook it. I just want to make sure it's just right for when it goes in the freezer. <laughs> all these ingredients, if you're using Ziploc bags, I recommend that you cool them down before you stick them in the bag for obvious reasons. You don't want to be melting your plastic. So I got the rice going, the chicken sauteing. Rice is almost done. I'm gonna let the rice finish cooking. I'm gonna get out my vegetables now. Okay, so I have company. Got the frozen broccoli right here. Somebody's not happy because he no. sees that his sisters are still outside playing and he wants to play too. So, a cup of I'm going to say these, the spoonfuls are about like a half a cup full. I'm going to do two cups of rice. Just four of these. I think that was four. That's a cup, I would say. I'm choosing to cut it into little pieces. Little bitty pieces. You can add ham to it if you'd like. And I'm just going to write in the back for my husband so that he knows um, to add shredded cheddar before placing it in the oven. The rice is a little overcooked because I got distracted, so hopefully it still turns out good. Not it's anything better that he will probably prepare for him and the kids anyways. chicken and broccoli and rice casserole and I'm going to go ahead and write down the instructions for my husband and put this in the freezer. Okay so I'm throwing up bacon for dinner. Like I said we're making smothered chicken and then um, when I'm done frying up the bacon I'll reserve some of the bacon grease for something else. I do like to cook with bacon grease um, and then uh, I'll cook the chicken in, in the same pan after so it gets some good flavor.
reserved for myself to drink. So now is time for the last meal. the freezer meals all done and ready to go in the freezer i'm trying to make a goal to get at least four meals done a week up until baby comes all right so that's the end of my vlog um for today i am going to put my feet up dinner shower and go to bed i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will catch you in the next one